gosh, you guys. Sam and I are in a big fight. Sam, what happened? Tell the you truth. You don't tell time. Ugh! No! <laughs> That's not what happened. So basically, we're the worst grandparents in the history of the world. Like, we're new to the whole babysitting thing. Like, oh, man. So, if you guys are just tuning in now, you might know that Jesse just went back to work recently and she was having daycare issues with baby Jack. So, she, they asked us, like, oh god, no, we're stuck in the driveway. Put down the coffee! We're in an emergency! <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, my coffee. <laughs> you know when people like, you know those memes? Like, hold my beer or hold my coffee. <laughs> it's gonna get real when he says, oh my coffee, oh my god. All right, so basically, Sam's freaking out. I am, uh, I'm like annoying, but. Hmm. One time when I got stuck, he said I was a bad driver. Did you hear that? You just said I was a bad driver. This is stress. This is real marriage, you guys. This is, I could probably get so. <laughs> Cause I learned how after the last time you said I was a bad driver. I think I gotta drink this coffee. <laughs> Basically what happened is that I've been telling Sam since yesterday, Sam, we have to pick baby Jack up. Woo hoo, good, good job. <sighs> I said, we have to pick baby Jack up. Uh, Jesse has to work at one. And like several times I said we have to we have to pick him up at 12:30 so that we can and if we drive her to work then it will that that'll be enough time. So then I wake up this morning and he goes down to the barn and he has all this energy and this happens sometimes where he just like on Saturdays I just want to lay in bed and relax. Gabby and Sophie and I are all the same and he's been working all week. So he wakes up on Saturday and he's like he goes down and does the chores and he comes back and he's like wake up everybody let's do something fun so he wakes me up and says well I was already awake but he gets me out of bed and he says I edited a video for Gabby's channel could you come edit it so he made me sit down he's like pressuring me to sit down and edit this video so I finally edit this video I finish it and it's for I like it it was a good one and he said and I look at my watch it's 20 after 12 and I'm like Sam we have to leave anyways I don't know whose fault was it his fault because he was pressuring me to edit the video even though he knew the time and suddenly when I started like freaking out that we were gonna be late he's like you said two never ever did I say two I never thought two I never believed two it was never two Sam they all think it was your fault no I said one to five it is your fault right hashtag Laura's right come on guys do it you, you guys no hashtag Laura's right anyway it is 12 13 <laughs> we're, we're a good 20 minutes away so yeah i think it'll work out though i just dropped off laura to babysit baby jack but i got some important news for you and that is our address our postal box office address has changed it changed because the uh the old address i guess they went bankrupt or something like that and they didn't even tell us we just got a letter in the mail or in the post office box saying that they're now closed forever and we had to change our address so if you see the old address in Belleville don't send it there our new post office box will be if you want to send a letter or package to us will be at the UPS store in Trenton I'm here to figure out what address box it's gonna be all right didn't vlog much in there but our mailbox is all set up we uh, set it up during the week and when we found out that our other place went bankrupt so so you'll still be able to send us letters it'll just be at the new address down below and suite 207 is the box number and yeah everything will be down below so if it says 207 that's our new box number all right so it's time to feed the horses and got Sophia's rake all ready for her been a while I've been meaning to do it for a long time I just haven't really had time to do it but it's all done now and she's able to use it starting tomorrow one below what kind of rake do you use this one seems good I use this one from uh, Noble Noble Outfitters it's a wave fork and I find that it you have to really get used to this one before it actually works good and I like it because I could, if the little tines break here, I can replace them. Gabby uses the one that's like a basket. 
has a little basket on it. I don't know if you like that one. And there they are, the three poop rakes. And Laura's is black and it's like this one. I don't think it has much of a curve to hers though. This looks like it has a curve to it. This one is Laura's. You see, it doesn't look like it has much of a curve to it. Yeah, Laura's doesn't have much of a curve to it. I don't know if you can see that, but Sophie's has a curve to it. Well, there you have it. Out of the four pitchforks, which one do you like the best? Comment down below your favorite pitchfork. So, it's lunchtime for the horses, and I'm down here alone, ready to give the horses some hay. Ready for lunch? Guess you want to eat outside today? This is nice out. Hey Willow. Hey Will. Kiss, 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 kiss. <laughs> what a girl. Kiss, kiss. Willow. Don't know if I got that. Anyways, this barn chores are messy looking. Sure, it is all full of hay. Poor Gracie all the way down there. Separate their hay in different spots because Gr poor Gracie gets left out so I put it far enough away that she can get it. But check out this. That salt lick I bought uh, Sky the other day. She must have been lacking in salt. Because it's almost halfway gone. It's halfway gone. See that? Halfway gone. She must have been lacking the minerals or the salt because there's only salt in that. But I think I might have to get the uh, mineral one just to see if she eats that as well. Anyway, Sophie and I did chores on Saturdays and so we were up this morning doing chores. And all our chores are done. And tomorrow is Gabby's day to do chores with her dad. Alright, I got Sophie in the car. We're picking up Laura. I brought some milk. And poor baby Jack is sick so I'm bringing him some Tylenol. He's a sick boy. We're gonna go get Laura. Baby Jack cleaned my clock today. Literally, it was the longest four hours of my life. You guys, when you have babies that grow up, you can never go back. Tell them what happened today, Jack. Tell them what happened. Tell them about how you cried all the whole time. So basically, Jack has an ear infection, right? And he didn't sleep last night. So he was very, very tired. Right? Right? Own it. Own it. And so basically I got him to sleep. It took, he slept for one and a half hours. And the rest of the time he cried. But now his dad is about to come home. He's happy. I did it though. I got him happy. It took the whole entire time I was here. But I got him happy. You have to celebrate the successes. That's all you can do. Right Jack? Uh, no, you can't have that. That's not a dog treat. It is something though. Oh, oh, Tata. Can I have it? Give it to me. Give it to me. It's a combo, I think. Are you going to put it in the garbage? He's like, oh, I'm going to eat this. You can't have it. Tata. Give it to Nana. <laughs> He's like, Tata. Can I have it? He's like, I will cry again. Somebody keeps turning on sunshine white balance on my camera and I have to keep fixing it so everything's orange. Tata, give it to Nana. Hurry up, your dad's gonna come home and he's gonna think I fed you bad food. Yes, give it to me. Give it to me, Jack. Come on. Yeah, I need it. Please, please. 
Sophie, you get it. You be the bad guy, because mm -hmm. I have to come back again. What, I, do you want me to take it from him? Yeah, you sneak it from him. Oh, yay! Good job! Hooray! <laughs> he looks so sad. I, I brought him a bag of grapes, and he's like, ew, they're gross. <laughs> have a toy. <laughs> he's like, this life sucks. They don't let me have anything good. <laughs> Poor boy. All right, Sophie and I made it to the dollar store. We made it before it yeah. closed. And, and oh, that closes at nine today, so we had lots of time. Anyways, I'm in the mood for theater-style popcorn, and I have to get some batteries for my clock that fell off the wall. Sophie's gonna split up for me. I need something for the wall. Got the screws I need to mount my clock. Now I just need batteries for that clock. Look what I found. Wait, what do you got? What do you got? Tell me what you okay, got. So I got these two things. Slime and pepperoni. And I got what the what is that? Uh, a unicorn squishy. Oh, and a big lollipop. A lollipop. It has a Your mom's not gonna like that. Oh, I need popcorn. Specifically came in here for popcorn. I'm gonna get some. Popcorn. Can I get that? Is that what this guy? Yeah, you can. I can? Mentos. Mentos gum. Mentos gum? Mentos gum. Hurry up, let's go. Um, I don't know what that gum. These are good. Sour, sours. These are good. Okay, let's go then. Can you guys see that? I don't think you guys can see it. Too dark. Can you guys see me? Whoa. Whoa, what way are you guys going? We just slid in the ice and made a heart shape with her feet and with her skid marks. Anyway. I feel so energetic because I was just sitting on my butt today <laughs> holding a crying baby. So we are going, I'm going down, so I'm going down with Sam and Gabby to do chores tonight. And it is dark. It is like 6, 6 p.m. Oh. The, the problem with not being able to see, can you guys see anybody? Oh my gosh. The problem with not being able to see is that you can't see where it's slippery and where it's not. So we're all, woo! Yeah, okay, I gotta go. There we go, Ruby got the motion detector light on. Yay! It's beautiful out, it's mild and awesome. <laughs> the... I'm, I'm away. <laughs> Don't run away. Gabby tried to jump on her back and she's like, I'm getting out of here. Anyway, the right time to ride Sky is when Fiona can come and give us a lesson. All she wants to do is give us a lesson on how Sky likes to be ridden. So that's the plan. I want to ride down here at night, though. People ask me every single day, when are you riding Sky? And I just have to wait. And it's just been really busy. I feel bad asking Fiona. And she just uh, had a problem. A deer ran into her car yesterday. Her truck, she's not hurt, but her truck is hurt again. And so I don't want to say like, Fiona, come and give us a lesson at our barn when you have no car. So soon, you guys, really soon. All right, are we ready? Do they all just come in? Yeah, you're gonna have to stand right there. Okay, I will stand right here. I missed you. Babysitting a kid that can talk, definitely easier than a kid that can't talk. Cutie patootie, hello. She wanted to say hi to me. Yes, she did. Hi, crazy girl. Such a cute girl. Yes, you are. I'm really starting to feel close to this girl, though. Willow? Heck no. Gabby does not like anybody who doesn't like Gabby. Willow says, I do not like you, Gabby. Tomorrow we have a really fun video planned for you guys, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, I'm going to end today's video so I can help Sam there with the water. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.